many of you would like to go from ordinary to extraordinary in all aspects of your life? Put me on the list. Put me on top of the list yeah. as well. So what do we what do we mean by this? What's our lesson behind this mm. question? Well, as Robert and I were talking about this today, we thought about three areas of life that most times people are very willing just to be ordinary at. Average or ordinary. Yeah. And one is in marriage. Um, the second one is in parenting or even in grandparenting. And the third one is whatever business you're in or what you do for your living. Exactly. You know, uh, the first one as far as as far as relationships and marriage, we were at a, uh, we were eating out. Yeah, we were at a restaurant. Having a yeah. real candid conversation, kind of holding hands, having a good time. We just uh, about to see a movie. And across from us was a couple doing what? It was so funny. I said, Robert, look, that couple is doing everything they can not to look at each other. And they were married. And you could tell they've been married a while. But it was so crazy. I mean, any, they were not speaking to each other, but they couldn't even look at each other. So it might have been a tough day or whatever. We don't yeah. know he that. He was reading the menu, if that tells you anything. <laughs> but, but, but the lesson behind it was if you want to be extraordinary, like mm -hmm. in a marriage relationship, yeah. then don't do what ordinary marriages do. Yeah. That's one fun little example. Be candid and, and ask candid questions and share your heart with each other. And the other one was the, uh, the grandkids. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, our grandkids, we definitely have an above average relationship with our grandkids. <laughs> we, we uplift them, we celebrate, we play with them, we go through all the, the, uh, the, the life languages. Yeah, definitely. Which is mm -hmm. you know dancing, uh, yeah. singing, groaning, <laughs> um, <laughs> laughing, crying. Yeah with them as much as we can. Yeah, yeah, they love all of that. Today I got such a belly laugh because Hunter made this little trap outside of the front door to catch a bear in case he came in the house. So I pretended I was the bear getting fun. in the trap. So it was she fun. She was the bear. And a couple of days ago I was on a I was on an African safari with the kids in the yeah. backyard. We captured mm -hmm. giraffes and elephants. He was carrying a purse. And the last thing <laughs> with our business, we, and we have a home-based business and if you want to be extraordinary, mm -hmm. even in what you create with your wealth and your business, then don't do what the average people do, which mm -hmm. is kind of coasting along, never writing their goals mm -hmm. down, never stepping up into a higher level of, of accountability. Mm -hmm. So uh, what's our call to action? Our call to action is, you know, look at your life and what things do you think that you could really improve upon so that 2013 is extraordinary instead of just average or ordinary. Exactly. So find, mm -hmm. start with one aspect mm -hmm. of your life and look around what average people are doing in that, in that path and don't do what they do. <laughs> do a lot more than what they <laughs> yeah, do. Yeah, absolutely. So have an amazing day. Yeah, so are you going to tease me about the... Oh, the ball cap. Well, Joy's having an extraordinary day <laughs> being authentic today for you. <laughs> it was a busy day and it just didn't happen, so... And you're beautiful. Yeah, make it a great day. Because you deserve <laughs> it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Bye.